In a recent poll commissioned by Fiat, they found out that 67% of Brits would like to live a more Italian relaxed lifestyle. Now, what does that mean to you? Does that mean a slice of pizza? Is it a cup of the coffee? Is it some impeccable fashion sense? Well, I can't do any of that. I'd like to. But what I can do is bring you a little ray of sunshine. This is the Fiat 600e. And I've got to say, I'm pleasantly surprised. The 600e La Prima, to be precise. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Isn't that the exact same as the 500X? Well, kinda, but the 600E is very much its own creation. First off, it's slightly smaller than the 500X, but does offer more space than the much-loved 500. Fiat see the 600E as a return to the super mini market after the Punto went out of production back in 2018. But Fiat have made it clear they're not just selling you a car, they're selling you a lifestyle. As their La Dolce Vita tagline represents, Fiat are urging you to enjoy the small things in life. Take time to pause and appreciate every moment. Okay, well for now, let's take time to appreciate this very striking design. Now the first thing that catches my eye, and it'll catch your eye as well, the light. It's like it's got a little lid on the top there. It's giving you chilled, relaxed vibes that Fiat want you to think of. Cool 600 logo in the front and honeycomb down the bottom, which leads round the corner of the car in towards a nice 18 inch diamond cut alloy wheel. There's a chrome detail on the side at the top and the bottom of the car. And I like how we've got a black wing mirror because this car comes in an orange color called the Sun of Italy. So the black wing mirror breaks up the color. Nice E emblem for the lights here, which is pretty trick. And another smart thing, look at that. On the 600 logo on the bumper, the Italian flag runs through the middle of that, which gives you a cool bit of Italian flair. Inside the boot, 360 liters of boot space. There's extra storage underneath where you can keep your charging cables. And that's some of the cool things that I like about the 600E. If the sun of Italy isn't to your liking, there are other color options. In 2023, Fiat decided they would no longer make cars in gray, so they could bring as much color into the world as possible. A bold move considering the most popular color of car in the UK is in fact, gray. Inspired by the sea, sky and earth of Italy, you'll have a green, blue, and a sandy color to pick from. Sandy, AKA gray adjacent. So what's it like to drive? It's just fun, good fun to drive. It feels like one of the lightest EVs that I've ever driven as well. And I've driven a lot of EVs on this channel, as you know. What's not to love? Congratulations, Fiat. Also, that steering, it's honestly, it's fingertip stuff. Fiat used to have a button that was called City and you push that and they give you a light steering, you know, a touch of a button. Now, it's just there all the time. The Fiat 500 gave you great visibility and bang, straight into this one as well. Massive visibility, tiny little pillars here down the front don't restrict your view. They've got good door mirrors with blind spot detection and it's a fairly large aperture in the actual windscreen. As I look through the mirror to the back as well, although it's a small window at the back, you still see plenty out there. So the visibility and the driving style and comfort in the car is good. Three driving modes, sport, normal and eco. Your normal mode gives you 109 horsepower. If you want to tailor that back and try and save some battery, you've got eco, which gives you 82 horsepower. And then sport, which does come with a feral kick and a punch, 154 horsepower when you put your foot down in this little 600E. So if you want to overtake something in traffic, it does go, and it's quite easy to do. Charging figures for this car with its 54 kilowatt battery, you could do 0 to 80 in just under half an hour, which is really quite good. But where it really starts to shine through is the WLTP figures give you 254 miles of range. And in my opinion, that comes back at round about 220. So if this is the car that you're looking at for your daily commute, nipping about the town, going to work, it's absolutely perfect. And if you need that longer journey, it's there for you. Inside, it's not basic, but it's not all bells and whistles. The steering wheel is lovely, the dashboards are nice and easy. You've got a seven inch digital dash and a 10.3 inch digital touch screen for all your infotainment. Apple CarPlay is mirrored, so it's nice and easy, you don't need to plug in. It's also Android Auto available for you as well. The climate controls are nice and easy, there's actual physical buttons for that, as it is for the driving controls down the front. Armrest either side, what more could you want? A couple of USB points? Yes, there is. The interior comes in two color choices. We have this color and we've also got black. A little bit dodgy that because black jeans on white leather, I'm not gonna sweat about it, but it's not ideal. Don't really struggle about too much in that. But it's nice inside here. What more could you want? Plenty of headroom, comfy for the feet, 
and it's got a foot rest. Into the back of the car. Now, if you like the Fiat 500, but you are a little compromised on space, this could be the answer for you, the 600E. There's a little bit more room in here. Yes, it looks cramped for me, but I'm six foot two, give or take a few inches. Headroom's really good, legroom's a little compromised, but that's where my driving seat is. If the driving seat's a little bit further forward, you've got ample room in the back. What else do you have in the back? Well, you've got the nice interior, which flows from the front into the back. The Fiat stitching in the seat is something I really, really like, and they're nice and comfortable as well. You've got a USB charger, you've got electric windows, and a little bit of storage in the back of the seat compartment as well. Nice comfy headrest, and for mums and dads, because this could be a young family car, Isofix either side. And Fiat do tell me that you can fit three people in the back. I'm feeling more relaxed than Italian already. Prego. We're driving along a cobbled street right now. You might hear my voice starting to break up a little bit. It does seem like the suspension might be quite firm for a cobbled street, but mind you, this isn't a smooth cobbled street. It's filled with potholes all over the place. But it still definitely feels every single joint. As I mentioned in the back, if the Fiat 500 was a car that you loved, but you're looking for something with a little bit more size, this is where the 600E really comes to its own. It's 4.1 meters long compared to the 3.5 meters that the little Fiat 500 was. So that's really ideal for you. So you can still dart about town, get in those tight spaces in cities, or like we are just now, in a beautiful part of Fife, very small streets. This car is perfect for that. The 600E comes with a 360 camera, which is superb for helping you manoeuvre into those smaller parking spaces. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you're comfortable with it, you won't want to drive without it. Now, as stunning as the La Prima spec is, at £36,000, which the car retails at, it might be out of your price range. So, Fiat have a more basic spec on offer, which is around £4,000 cheaper. It was developed in partnership with the charity Red, an organisation that fights global health emergencies, with every purchase of a RED product, a donation will be made to this global fund to support a range of prevention, treatment, counselling, testing, education and care services for communities most in need. The RED spec will offer 16-inch steel wheels, black, red or white colour options and a black interior with Fiat's monogram recycled fabric seats. If you don't fancy the move to full EV, there's also a 1.2 litre, 100 horsepower, 6-speed automatic hybrid version, which is a whopping £10,000 cheaper even in La Prima form. So for £36,000 you get a lot of car, but what is the 600E up against? I think personally it's up against the MG4, the Peugeot 2008, and also the Corsa E. Is it trying to take the vacant space left by the outgoing Ford Fiesta? I think it definitely is. Definitely fits the bill for that. The MG4 was one of my favourite cars to drive, remember, I did like that, but I prefer the interior layout and what we've got this. It feels more natural to me. The MG4 had a kind of floating area here for the driving controls on, and if you want to watch that review, top of the screen, hit the button and catch that detailed review. Who is this car for is the big question. If you have a Fiat 500 and you're maybe looking for that next logical step, because that's where life's taken you, and you need something with a bit more space, but you like the quirkiness of the 500 and you're looking for the same kind of styling. The 600E is that car. It's got more room in it. It's got more for the family. And in your life, when things change, so does the car. And remember, if you want more information on the 600E, head to arnoldclark.com, that's where you'll find it. With over 20,000 new and used cars across the UK and 200 sites, there's something for absolutely everybody. Pick your car and we can get it delivered to a branch near you. The Fiat 600E, a car that will surprise you because it has surprised me. I've fallen in love with it and it is so much fun. And I realise that £36,000 it may be a bit of a stretch, but if you're in the city and you want something fun, this is for you. This is Daniel Clark YouTube channel. I'm Duncan Vincent. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And until next time, safe driving in the 600E.